Now on Fox News at 10. We may not be through breaking records. Details on that story next. Why hundreds of Jeffersonville residents were forced to cope with the extreme heat, whether they wanted to or not. How the scorching temperatures are forcing school leaders in one local district to make changes to the first day of school. The disturbing details surrounding a southern Indiana woman facing child pornography charges. Now, Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Woolsey. And I'm Don Schroeder. Another From Channel 3 Eyewitness News, coverage you can count on. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening, everyone. Amy is off tonight. Drivers and North Shore business owners alike are elated that traffic... Coverage you can count on. Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 11. You're watching Amy Morrow, Mark Bruce, and meteorologist Brian Travers. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 11. Some folks call them the me generation or generation. This is WTVE and WTVE DT 51 Reading. Watching WHYY, Wilmington, Philadelphia. is Fox 5 Morning News. And it is 5 o'clock on this Tuesday morning. Good morning and thanks for being with us. I'm Steve Shannon. Hi there, everybody. I'm Gervier Dinza. As we mentioned just a couple minutes ago, Tony and Allison are out today. This is WRIP-TV Chattanooga, Channel 61, serving the tri-state area. News Center 22 is next. at 10. Good evening, I'm Chris Maru. Sarah's off tonight. Two young girls are in the hot. Next on Fox News at 9, an Eastside club owner possibly killed over something he's known to do on Fridays. And I was ironing my clothes, watching Fox News at 9 o'clock, and I saw there were three escapees from Nacogdoches County. What happened next and how a San Antonio pastor nearly ended up on the wrong side of the law. A scientific wonder near Canyon Lake about to open to the public. And just when you thought TV couldn't get any better than high def, you've got to see this. This is San Antonio's Fox News at 9. First on Fox, a well-known bar on the city's east side turns into a crime scene after... Michael Valdez, Cynthia Lee, Alex Garcia. This is San Antonio's Fox News at 9. Police find the body of a New Braunfels man lying on the side of... You're watching KZTV, Action 10 News at 6. With Jennifer Lena, meteorologist David Mazza, and Roland Rodriguez. Hi, folks. Cisco and Ebert review Over the Top, tonight at 11.30 on TV8. Now, Dave Buckle, Sandy Lesko, Vince Cellini on sports, and Mark Kuntz with weather. This is News Center 8. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Here's what's happening. 10-day forecast coming up. ABC 57 News at 6 starts now. Covering South Bend, Elkhart, and all of Michiana, this is ABC 57 News at 6. Right now, a councilman's police encounter. Tonight, he talks about his ride home from a South Bend Common Council meeting and how he ended up in handcuffs and his dad ended up in jail. Henry Davis Jr. has been an outspoken critic of the police department and the mayor's office. Good evening. 
This is WSBT News at 11. Controversial comments about rape from a candidate for Indiana Senate seat will tell you what was said. And our top story, one hospital, dozens of patients with fungal meningitis. Now Elkhart General Hospital has an entire unit devoted to treating local victims caught in this national outbreak. Live in high definition, this is WSBT News at 11. Doctors at Elkhart General have a daunting task diagnosing and treating everyone who got that tainted back pain medicine. Now, Chief Meteorologist Paul Emick with your accurate and dependable storm tracker forecast. Depending on where you were last night, you saw a real sound soaking or not much at all during the day. Now, sports with Pete Byrne. Notre Dame and Oklahoma will battle in the biggest game. News is changing all the time. New Center 16 will help you keep up. What's happening now, and what's changing in the stories you care about? More information, new stories in every newscast. And forecasts to help you plan ahead. It's about making good use of your time. News Center 16, your breaking news and weather authority. Team Morning News is next. From WNDU, your breaking news and weather authority, this is 16 Morning News. Good morning, everyone. I'm Trisha Sloma. Welcome to the 430 edition of 16 Morning News. Hundreds of at your forecast next. You're watching WNDU, your breaking news and weather authority. 16 Morning News. The chill. From WNDU, weather authority Frank Waugh has your Storm Team 16 forecast. Another mild start to the day. This is WSBT News first thing in the morning. Is there a problem in the water at the Jack Nicholas designed golf course in Benton Harbor? This morning we'll explain why the Environmental Protection Agency is investigating. Two candidates for Congress debate the Keystone Pipeline. If built, would it really lower gas prices? It won't change our price one penny at the pump. And a controversial comment made during Indiana's Senate debate leads to a response from the Mitt Romney campaign. Live in high definition, this is WSBT News first thing in the morning. Mitt Romney is distancing himself this morning from Indiana. Next. Live in high definition, with Kirk Mason, your storm tracker forecast with meteorologists Carrie Pujol. This is WSBT News first thing in the morning. This is what watching ABC 57 News in high definition with Keitha Nelson and first warning neighborhood weather meteorologist Tom Coons. Good morning, Michiana. Start out your day in the 60s. A mild start looking at Skycast for Elkhart warming up to news right now. Covering South Bend, Elkhart, and all of Michiana. This is ABC 57 News at 6. This morning in South Bend, roadways on the city's west side are now back open after a hair salon catches on fire overnight. Straight ahead, a live look at the damage. And it looks like some AM General employees will have to wait a bit longer before returning to work. Details on the shutdown extension plus. Caffeine connoisseurs, you may want to cut back a bit. A new report is out linking five deaths to energy drinks. So how much is too much? We welcome you here. Nice to have you at ABC 57 News. I'm Keith Nelson. Let's begin with a quick look at your forecast. Here's ABC 57 First Warning Neighborhood Meteorologist Tom Coons. Good morning, Keith. Well, we're not tracking any rain this morning with ABC 57 First Warning Live Doppler Radar. So we are starting... In high definition, this is the Fox 28 Morning Show. Right now on the Fox 28 Morning Show, some people in South Bend are rallying behind a common council member this morning. Coming up, find out why they say the police department had it out for them. Plus, people in California recovering after a very scary accident. Coming up, you are not going to believe what got that one started. And we're in for quite a warm-up today. I'll let you know if record highs will heat up our Wednesday, October 24th. Good morning. You're watching the Fox 28 Morning Show. And good morning, everybody. Uh, Courtney, Joe, and Steve here for you today. And coming up here soon, we're going to be running a story about some of the... Uh, before this weekend, stay with us to see when those temperatures drop in your forecast. In high definition, you're watching the Fox 28 Morning Show with Courtney Ward. Steve Duval and meteorologist Joe Hansel. Fox 28 News, when you want it.
right now on Fox 28 News. I'm Amanda Tetlack. A common council member says he was pulled over for no reason in South Bend. Tonight, a citizens group is coming to his defense. Also tonight... It's the ultimate stimulus package from cover to cover. Playboys covering the election in a way that only they can. And when it comes to us, that that's artwork. It's not a paint job. Meet the Michiana man whose canvas is as unique as he is. Watch as he puts art in motion. The news starts right now. In high definition, this is Fox 28 News at 10. First on Fox, a controversial comment during tonight's Senate debate, and it is... In high definition... You're watching Fox 28 News at 10 with Tracy Capelman, Tom Powell, Chief Meteorologist John Fisher, and Sports Director Dean Hubbard. Fox 28 News, when you want it. You're watching coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 15's First News This Morning. Pat, a very good morning to you. It is Thursday, October 25th. Coverage you can count on continues with meteorologist Nicholas Ferrari's live Doppler 15 Fury forecast. Hello, everybody. It's 611 on this Thursday morning. News continues on 21 Alive News at 5. You're watching coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 15's News at 6. Even with life. Coverage you can count on continues with Heather Heron and Mark Mellinger. CNN senior analyst Jeffrey Tubin is at IPF. Coverage you can count on continues with Chief Meteorologist Jonathan Condor's live Doppler 15 Fury forecast. Well, I think today got the gold star when it came. Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's sports report. Before they trick or treat, they. Weather alerts just for your county, only with INC Textcaster. Now, this is NBC 33 News at 11. High definition brought to you by Fort Wayne Toyota Southwest in the 1469 Auto Mall. After a rape comment puts Richard Murdoch in a ring of fire, a national political figure removes his endorsement. Plus, a standoff continues on the city's northeast side. Details coming up. A warm day, now a mild night. Find out what tomorrow will bring in the Pinpoint Viper HD forecast. U.S. Senator John McCain has withdrawn his endorsement of Indiana GOP Senate candidate Richard Murdoch until... Closed captioning on 21 Alive is made possible by ENT Hearing Center. Your news continues on 21 Alive News at 11. Encouraging patient loyalty to help. The score on NBC 33 Sports, presented by Kelly Chevrolet. The regular season wasn't as... High Definition, brought to you by Fort Wayne Toyota Southwest in the 1469 Auto Mall. Next. I'm Megan Trent, coming up on My Fox Fort Wayne at 10. The alleged killer of a 10-year-old girl is found. And energy drinkers, how much caffeine do you really get? Now, this is My Fox. Weather's always first on My Fox Fort Wayne at 10. Curtis Smith is in the Weather Center. A near perfect day today, Curtis. Yeah, that's right, Megan. Hard to come. Coming up next on My Fox News at 10. A new device to battle infections after surgery. You're watching My Fox Fort Wayne at 10. My Fox Sports is presented by Kelly Chevrolet. The regular season wasn't as dominant as in years past, but since the playoffs have found off live from DuPont Bar and Grill Thursdays on 21 Alive. Right now, this is 21 Alive Morning News. High definition brought to you by Fort Wayne Toyota Southwest in the 1469 Auto Mall. A day later and Richard Murdoch is still dealing with the fallout of his comments about rape. He's now losing the support of a high-ranking Republican, and we'll tell you which one. Plus, all roads on the presidential trail lead to Ohio. And Mitt Romney will be in our own backyard today. We'll have a preview of his visit. And good Thursday morning to you. I'm Eric Olson. And I'm Linda Jackson. Chris Daniels is here to tell us what's happening weather-wise today. And before we get to that, who dressed you people? It's a very nice Mom. time. Mom. <laughs> you look 
twins, bookends. Well, not really twins, but uh, <laughs> no. He found out what I was wearing, and he insisted on wearing the same thing to steal some of my thunder. And did it? Is it worked? Yes, it has. <laughs> you have all the thunder and lightning. I'm sorry, I work alone. Uh, let's <laughs> watching 21 Alive Morning News. Now, your Pinpoint Viper HD forecast, presented by Parkview Health. 512 on this Thursday, October what? DFW TV, Channel 4, Dallas, Fort Worth. Now, on Channel 4, the 10 o'clock news. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us. It's news that's clear and to the point. From KRIS 6 News, this is 9 at 9. A Kingsville woman mourns the loss of her son as she waits to find out what caused the accident that claimed his life. Border Patrol agents at the Sarita checkpoint have seized more than a ton of pot in two separate incidents, and the Chamber of Commerce won't endorse either mall development project, but they do have some advice for the city council. But first, a lot of rain is moving through our area tonight. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson in the Weather Center. Dale? Plus, Dale's complete forecast are coming up. You're watching 9 at 9 on Fox. You're, wa you're watching KRIS 6 News 9 at 9 with Bart Bedsel and Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. 6 News will return after these messages. You're watching KZTV Action 10 News. Nightcast with Jennifer Lita, Eric Von Wade. Meteorologist David Mazza and Roland Rodriguez. Hi, folks. Brian Wolf. More local news on KIIII's 3 News begins now. It's been a hot topic. Now the Corpus Christi Chamber of Commerce is taking a stance on the tax incentives issue. And police. Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. Good morning, San Diego. Thank you so much for joining us on this Thursday morning. A lot happening today. There's the News 8 Update with Iola Johnson, Tracy Rowlett, Troy Dungan with weather, and Bill McAtee on sports. Good evening, Tracy Rowlett is taking the night off. An Irving couple is safe tonight after gift. That's our news for tonight. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good night. Nightline will not be seen tonight, so that we may bring you the following presentation of ABC News Viewpoint. Everyone at the White House believes there will be new taxes. But the budget deficit can still be up toward $100 billion unless Mr. Reagan agrees to some new taxes. Bill Platt, CBS News. Sam Donaldson, ABC News. Judy Woodruff, NBC News, the White House. The White House and the news media. Tonight, a critical look at how the press has covered the Reagan administration during its first year in office. Our critics on Viewpoint tonight, three top White House officials who deal with the press daily. Larry Speaks, David Gergen, and Lynn Nofziger. And responding to the media, ABC White House correspondent Sam Donaldson, CBS News commentator Bill Moyers, and the Washington Bureau Chief of the Los Angeles Times, Jack Nelson. And we'll have a look at some letters from viewers critical of ABC News. Reporting tonight live from Pittsburgh and the studios of ABC affiliate WTAE, here is Ted Koppel. Good evening. It is a fishbowl existence living and working in the White House personifying the executive branch of government.
conversation, an interchange, and discussion of ideas. Dialogue, a live public affairs forum that brings together experts and interested individuals on a topic of concern to Hawaii and that invites your participation through phone-in questions and comments. Dialogue, Friday evenings at 8 o'clock on Hawaii Public Television. This is Hawaii Public Television, KHET Channel 11 Honolulu, and KMEB Channel 10 Wailuku. Gardner. You're watching CKWS Television, your community, your news. This is News Watch at 6. Tonight, Belleville's doctor recruitment drive meets with remarkable success. John Tory brings his conservative message on health care to KGH. And the little satellite that launched the space race 50 years ago today. Good evening, I'm Julie Brown. And I'm Bill Hutchins. The doctor shortage has been talked about for years, and it's a big... This is WNBC-TV New York. News Center 4 is brought to you tonight by the Fur Vault at Alexander's. Good evening, I'm Chuck Scarborough. This is News Center 4, and you're looking at the results of a mistake. That could mean... I'm Bill Butel. Tonight, the U.S. Supreme Court has cleared the way for Gary Gilmore to face the firing squad. Fire officials in Los Angeles have found the cause of that weekend fire that killed actor Jack Cassidy. It's the fire season in New York, and I'll have the story of one tragic fire in Brooklyn. I'll have more from the people touched by the mysterious Oric Bovar coming up next on Eyewitness News. Yish. This is Eyewitness News, Monday, December 13th, 1976. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tom Ellis, and here's what's happening tonight. Condemned Utah killer Gary Gilmar may get his death wish soon. Today... You're watching the home of the 94 Winter Olympics, Channel 4. Coping with the record-breaking cold that has put a hold on everyday living here in western New York. Harding's WDSU TV 6, New Orleans. And that's our report. I'm Jane Aqui. Around the world, around the clock, this is Headline News. WDSU TV6, New Orleans' first television station. of the story is our specialty on New Center 6. The Today Show is coming to New Orleans. Watch TV6 and listen to WILD AM and FM radio for a chance to get an up-close view of the Today Show's live broadcast from the banks of the Mississippi River, May 21st. A select VIP audience will win the opportunity to see a live network morning show in action. The Today Show, coming to New Orleans, May 21st. Listen to win from WILD, AM and FM, and TV6. Thursday. This is CBS. 
from WBTV News. This is News Break. Good evening, I'm Bob Inman. Coming up on WBTV News, the story of a Charlotte bus route that became so popular during pipeline construction, it's becoming permanent. And North Carolina's Jim Broyhill being considered by President Reagan as the new Secretary of Commerce. Now here's Mike in the AccuWeather Center. Thank you, Bob. It's a comparatively cool night here in the Carolinas, certainly in the Charlotte area. Tell you all about it at 11. First in the Carolinas, the commitment to news excellence and innovation. This is WBTV Charlotte. Bob Inman, Sarah James, Paul Cameron, and Mike McKay. All tonight on WBTV News, The Night Report. Good evening. We will know by mid-afternoon tomorrow whether professional baseball stay... Coming up next at noon on your number one news station, a deadly gas explosion in Seoul. Day 15 for Serb held Canadian peacekeepers. And an electrifying car show. Stay tuned for Newsbeat Today next at noon here on CFTO TV, your number one news station. You know, ahead on your number one news station, a surprise snowfall blankets southern Ontario. This is Newsbeat Today on CFTO TV. Channel 9, Toronto. Newsbeat today with Tim Weber and Sandra Neal. Good afternoon. Well, it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas, Tim. Before today's surprise snowfall ends, as much as 10 centimeters or... The CFJC Evening News with Bill O'Donovan, Earl Seitz, and Susan Edgem. Good evening. Last night, Camelot City Council voted down an application. You're watching CFJC and E! Everything Entertainment. Tonight, residents of a legal complex forced to look elsewhere. So, I, I really uh, don't know what we're going to do. No idea open for business in China. We're really excited about this and we hope that Camel's businesses uh, use it. And city emphasizes going green. But we're not really going to make sure that we do things that make it better. The CFJC News at 6.30 with Susan Edgel. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Last evening, City Council voted Tonight on Check News. The puck stops here. The Canucks complete day one of training camp on the island. Police catch a car thief in Nanaimo thanks to bait car. In Orwellian fashion, Google is taking a closer look. From our Vancouver Island newsroom, this is Check News with Scott Fahey. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Victoria Police need your help tonight in the search for a 13-year-old girl. Ryan. Unnuk, nunak zwame imine kutu kaili manang mut ullo kartilukit nunavu miut kisutun. Amma. Emmento Oilers, who we as a Titim Marilautut, no not ser me. Unnocut, Ras in a Saleovunga. Tonight on CHCH News at six. A sad farewell to a Hamilton soldier. From the Hamilton Holton Niagara News Center, this is CHCH News at six. Good evening, everyone. I'm Annette Hall. Maria Hayes is off tonight. Well, family.
Live from Las Vegas, your only choice for live local news right now with Shelly Bruner, John Huck, Weather 24-7 with Chief Meteorologist Darren Pett. This is Fox 5 News at 5.30. Local, Las Vegas. The Southern Nevada Health District has issued a public... You're watching Channel 13 Action News live at 5 with Trisha Keene and Steve Wolford. Plus, Weather First with meteorologist Brian Schofield. And breaking news from the Action News Hawk. Next on Sunrise at 5, you can throw out your car keys and forget rush hour traffic. Commuters find out if a new service can get you from Leeward, Oahu to town without the typical frustration. And O.J. Simpson sits behind bars in Sin City. Wait until you hear who helped put him away. Plus, the Lion King's roar echoes across the stage. Mufasa and Simba, wow, a sold out crowd at the Blaze Step. Aloha and good morning. I'm Steve Uihara. And I'm Grace Lee. Welcome to our first Sunrise on KGMV 9. Thanks for joining us. We'll have all of your top stories in just a moment. But first, let's get a check of your out-the-door weather with meteorologist Jeff Booth, who is in the Weather Center. Hello, Jeff. Good morning. Wearing his jacket, too. You didn't point that out. Yes, um, we actually... This is a CBS News special report on the California primary. Here is Walter Cronkite. Good evening. The polls have just closed in California's presidential primary, and especially... Governor George Wallace was shot and critically wounded today at a campaign rally in Laurel, Maryland. CBS News cameraman Lawrence Pierce filmed the attack. Wallace had finished speaking to the crowd of 1,000 that left the stand to shake hands with his admirers. The gunman was among them and fired at close range. Direct from our newsroom in New York, this is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite and Roger Mudd in Washington, Lawrence Pierce in Washington, David Dick in Silver Spring, Maryland, and Richard Frelkeld, north of Way in South Vietnam. The shooting in the shopping center of the Maryland suburb near Washington came just after Governor Wallace had addressed a generally friendly crowd. And he'd step... From CBS Washington, in color, face the nation. A spontaneous and unrehearsed news interview with Senator Edward Kennedy, Democrat of Massachusetts. Senator Kennedy will be questioned by CBS News correspondent John Hart, Ward Just of the Washington Post, and CBS News correspondent Martin Agronsky. We shall resume the interview with Senator Kennedy in just a moment. Good evening once again. This is Julian Barber with the latest returns in the District of Columbia primary. Bobby Kennedy is winning a complete victory here. He apparently will have all 23 votes at the Democratic National Convention. The forces supporting Senator Kennedy are leading in the fight for delegates by a margin of about 9 to 5. They are... TOP News, Campaign 68, the District of Columbia primary. Now here is Julian Barber. Well, as Robert Kennedy just uh, said in uh, Indianapolis, uh, he views what he called his two-to-one victory in the District of Columbia as a bright spot. The special report on the attempted assassination of Senator Robert F. Kennedy has been a presentation of ABC News. We remind you that ABC News will be standing by to bring you any new developments. Reynolds and his guest commentators bring you the news plus stimulating and provocative opinion. Watch him for one week and we think you'll agree you've never seen the news like this before. The ABC Evening News with Frank Reynolds in color every weeknight here on ABC. This has been a special report from ABC News. We now return to our regularly scheduled programming. Stay tuned throughout the day for special ABC News reports from Los Angeles on the condition of Senator Kennedy. 
and for a reaction from Washington and major capitals around the world. This is the ABC Television Network. Senator Robert Kennedy remains in extremely critical condition following his being shot in the head early this morning in Los Angeles. The shooting occurred uh, shortly after a victory rally in the California primary. His he still does. Full color four. Now, a special program in living color on NBC. Ninety minutes of news on WRC TV. Senator Johnson, face the nation. You are about to see the Senate Majority Leader and possible Democratic presidential candidate in his first television news interview program, Lyndon B. Johnson of Texas, face the nation in a spontaneous and unrehearsed interview with veteran correspondents representing the nation's press. Elizabeth Carpenter, Washington correspondent for the Little Rock, Arkansas Gazette and several Texas newspapers. Charles Von Fremd of CBS News and Carlton Kent of the Chicago Sun-Times. And now, here as the moderator of Face the Nation is CBS News correspondent Stuart Novins. As majority leader of the Senate, Lyndon Johnson has one of the most powerful offices in Washington. This is a CBS News special report. The Watergate indictments. This broadcast is sponsored by Bufferin, the headache tablet that gives you fast relief and is easy to your stomach. Sir Edward M. Kennedy. Here in our New York newsroom, CBS News correspondent Harry Reisner. Good evening. Just a week ago tonight, Senator Edward Kennedy left a beach house party on Chappaquiddick Island, Massachusetts, to drive Mary Jo Kopechny to a ferry. He took the wrong route, and his car swerved off a narrow and unmarked wooden bridge into a saltwater pond. Kennedy escaped, but Miss Kopechny, a secretary and campaign aide to his late brother Robert, drowned. It was late at night. With the recovery of Borman and Lovell, all of the major objectives of the Gemini program were completed. NBC News presents The Flight of Gemini. A special report on the landing and recovery of astronauts Frank Borman and James Lovell. This special... Now reporting from the NBC News Space Center, here are Chet Huntley and David Brinkley. You can get an idea of the rapid, the even dizzying pace at which the American space program is moving by realizing that the Gemini program should be coming to an end within this coming year, 1966, and it will be not followed, but beginning in the same year, 19... This special NBC News report has been brought to you by the Gulf Oil Corporation, producers of more and better energy from oil. was produced by NBC News, which is solely responsible for its content. The AFL Pro Football. The Houston Oilers versus the Boston Patriots. In color. Direct from Framway Park in Boston. Next on the NBC Television Network. An in-depth look at today's headlines, it's USA Tonight. From our a 1B rocket with an Apollo spacecraft atop it is being... This is a CBS News special report. Apollo Soyuz. A meeting in space. This broadcast is sponsored by Lum's restaurants all over America. Lum's, no one else will give you more. And by Johnson Wax, makers of Shout, the heavy-duty stain remover specially made to get the tough stains out. Remain so overnight. Still one spacecraft in orbit, but their crews will not see each other again in space. The un
Я знаю, Алоша, как и брат. I know Alexei as my brother. We all got a job to do. We've got to work together to do it right. And uh, I think we're all going to be working together to do that. Cooperation means uh, friendship. Friendship means peace. This is a CBS News special report. Apollo Soyuz, a meeting in space. This broadcast is sponsored by Lum's Restaurants all over America. Lum's, no one else will give you more. And by Johnson Wax, makers of Shout, the heavy-duty stain remover specially made to get the tough stains out. The time now, exactly 19 minutes past the hour. The Soyuz is down, the two cosmonauts are out. The Soviet... This is a CBS News special report. is falling. Here now is Walter Cronkite. Good evening. Skylab is falling. Right now, that enormous abandoned space station, some 77 and a half tons of metal, nine stories tall, is expected to make its final flaming plunge through the atmosphere to the Earth tomorrow between 7.50 a.m. and 4.14 p.m. Eastern time.